Minnesota's had a great professional soccer history going back through the 70s, whether it was with the Kicks or the Thunder or the Stars. Most of those teams, all of those teams, were actually quite successful on the field and off the field as well. Today, the North American Soccer League of its Remergence is really trying to write that next chapter in the legacy of professional soccer, not only here, but throughout North America. Maybe one of the most exciting things to happen here recently has been Bill McGuire coming on and uh, taking over ownership of the team. In just a few, sh <laughs> in just a few short months, you've seen a lot of progress. Uh, today is no different. Uh, it's a big day in the team's history. And uh, I know we're all waiting for the official announcement. A couple of months ago, we had another special day in Minnesota soccer history, announcing the McGuire Group as the new owners and vision for the future of soccer in Minnesota. A lot of focus was on the special past Minnesota's had in the state. Today is about the future. Let's forget the snow for a moment, all right? And with that, with the season a month away, let's get excited about the team this year. From our great core of players from last year, all right, to adding two former MVPs in Etienne Barbara and Pablo Campos, two outstanding midfielders in Brian Arguez and Aaron Pitchkelin, a great goalkeeper in Dale Sattler, and other players that are really going to make this team special unique, I can honestly tell you, is an exciting time for soccer in Minnesota. Well, when you think about what soccer can become in this region, it is just, it is just waiting to kind of take off. When you think of all the people that are represented in this building alone, all the immigrants from East Africa, all the immigrants from Asia, all the immigrants from Central and South America, that for whom this is their game. And we have got to provide that opportunity for them to embrace it, to support it, to make it affordable, to make it family uh, friendly, and, to, and just to, to do what soccer has done in every other part of this world. We want to really thank Dr. McGuire, whose um, incredible gifts in this community have helped us with the arts, with our parks, and with this team, it is critically important. I met with the commissioner a year ago, and he was very worried about whether we could ever keep soccer here because we didn't have a local owner willing to step up and put the resources in to not just manage a team, but to really grow it and build a franchise. Dr. McGuire, thank you so much for doing this. And to build on the Lagos legacy here, I mean, in, in Minnesotan, you spell soccer, L-A-G-O-S, right? For a couple generations, and it's terrific having you here. We have been listening to people. We have been trying to understand uh, the legacy that is so important in the past. As you know, this uh, legacy of professional soccer goes back to 19, mid-1970s. In 1976, at the old Metropolitan Stadium, there were 49,536 people showed up for a playoff game at that time. Maybe still the largest crowd, certainly the largest crowd in the ESL. Thereafter, there have been strikers, thunder, and stars. And so we recognize and have thought about the legacy We've thought about the diversity of our community. We have thought about the diversity of this game. We have considered the global nature, the elegance, the beauty that goes with what so many call the beautiful game and the idea of uniting all of this into one. And that is where we end up with a new name and a new logo to go with it. And I think we're going to see something, but the new name, I'll start off. We ready? Is Minnesota United FC. And with, with the input of many of you, indirectly as well as directly, and the help of some of the great uh, companies here in town who engage in things like logos and names, we have put together a new mark. Our commitment to you is that we are going to provide the resources and the support uh, that this game deserves, this community deserves, the players, and all of you. 
Uh, we are going to reach out into the communities that we have talked about and be part of them. And we will be listening to you for feedback about how we can jointly uh, promote this beautiful game and this beautiful state with the same uniting passion that we all want to see through all of our society. Thanks for coming.